Thanks for joining. In this video, I want to show you how we can use a feature of FileMaker 19 to put a custom icon on the desktop. And when a user clicks it, it will launch our remotely hosted FileMaker database. This is a FileMaker file that's sitting on my desktop. And when I click on it, it opens up the database. I want that same experience, but it opens up a hosted database. In FileMaker 19, we have a new option. If we go into our preferences, we have at startup open file. So I can go in here, I can locate something on my host. Now I click OK, and when I launch FileMaker, it will open up that file. But the objective is to have users click on our logo, not the FileMaker Pro logo. We're going to right click on our FileMaker application and choose Make Alias. Now I can click this and drag it to my desktop. And now we can change the custom icon on this alias. I have a transparent PNG file, so I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. I need the actual contents of the image on my clipboard and then I go to File, Get Info. And in this Get Info window, I can click on my small icon and go to Edit, Paste. And what this will do is create a custom icon for my alias. At this point, I can click in the file name and I can change it to whatever I want. It will open up my FileMaker Pro, it'll execute whatever my startup scripts are, and all is well. If we click on this and FileMaker is already open, it will simply take us to our recents. Now, this does come with limitations because, as you see here, if I put this in my dock, it will retain the name of the alias, but it will display the icon of FileMaker Pro. If FileMaker Pro is being used for absolutely nothing else, I could go in and modify FileMaker Pro's icon as well, and then the alias would show both my custom icon and my custom name. However, this falls under the umbrella of whomever manages your computer software installation because this must be set on each client machine. This is a preference of FileMaker Pro, not a preference of your FileMaker file. The same is true for Windows. I need to locate my FileMaker Pro application, which is located in Program Files, FileMaker, FileMaker 19. I right click on this and I create a shortcut. In the Windows environment, I'll need to convert my PNG file into an ICO file. So I go to icoconvert.com. I'm going to choose my file. It's called PCI. I open that. I upload that. And then we scroll to the bottom. We leave it on its default settings and we click Convert ICO and then we download our icons. I'm going to right click on my FileMaker Pro shortcut, click Properties, and then I'm going to click on the Change Icon button. But I locate this in my Download folder and we'll see now I have my custom icon and then I can simply change this to whatever I want. The PC is similar to the Mac except we go to Edit and choose Preferences. We make sure we're on our General tab, and then we go down to At Startup Open File, click Browse, click Host, and select our file. Now I can click my shortcut, and it will open up my file. Now, contrary to what happens on a Macintosh, if I close all of my FileMaker windows on a Windows machine, then FileMaker itself is closed, and then if I should click my alias again, it will open my FileMaker solution. Unfortunately, this won't be useful in the Start menu or in the taskbar. If I right-click on the shortcut and I go down to Pin to Start, you'll see that when I click on it, it just resolved the shortcut anyways and showed me the program file name and program icon. So while this single-click custom starting point is limited to a directory like a desktop or a folder, it isn't introducing any new security vulnerabilities or more files that we need to manage. Even if you don't make use of the alias or the custom menu functionality in this video, the idea that FileMaker 19 can now just launch a database as soon as FileMaker is launched, that's exciting to me. You could jump straight into a menu system for your company, for your organization, and uh, I just think that really improves efficiency. 
So remember that liking a video is a great way to let us know that we're producing content you find useful. And until next time.